Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Construction Show. This is a product promo with Major Wire, and we are filming at World of Asphalt in St. Louis. And yes, they have the arch. Ian, welcome to the episode. We'll get right into it. Um, Ian Edwards, you are Vice President Global Sales. Still correct? That is correct, Rory. Thank you. Fantastic. Um, maybe let's jump into it. What are you uh, promoting here at the at the show for Major Wire? Yeah, we're very happy here uh, at Ag1 uh, 2025. We've been participating for many years now. It's always a great show. Um, you know, they're good to move it around to different places, uh, so you get to see new things. Yeah. Um, we're here. We have our team here. Uh, obviously, talking about screen media. We're screen media manufacturer. Um, you know, our number one product line that everyone, you know, kind of refers to us with is Flexmat. Okay. Um, so we're, we're here, we're showing new developments, new progress in, in different types of materials we're using, uh, which is really based on feedback we get from the dealers and the end users when we're out in the field on challenges that they face. Okay. Uh, so really trying to, you know, help them solve their problems. We're a solution provider. Um, so creating a screen that allows them to be the most efficient and economical as possible within their plants. Yeah, and let's let's get into that a little bit. When did uh, the Flex Mac? Because it's very, it's a, it seems to be like what you're known for now. When did when did that get developed? How long has it been out in the market now? Yeah, so it's it's been around for quite some time. Um, the the key thing is it's gone through many different phases, right? Okay. So as we continue to move forward, we always find different ways to produce it a different way, improve the quality, improve the different types of polyurethane that we use on it. Okay. So it's it's been a number of years. I think 1996 was really okay. the the focal point where it was really kind of like the big thing. It, it's been around right. a little bit before, but that was really the big year, I think. Okay. Um, but like I said, since then, we've made many different variants, different changes to it to really bring it to where it is today. Uh, and then we also have our FlexMat modular version of that as well, which is the okay. one by two panels uh, that also allow us to capture capitalize on that flex mat type uh, high vibration wire improvement. Okay, actually, can you expand a little bit on that? So they're one by two panels, so you're using multiple yeah. units? Yeah, yeah. so dependent on what type of screen box your facility is using, you yeah. could need a side tension screen media or an end tension screen media. Okay. And then as well, there's something called modular panels, and they're usually one by two or two by two panels. Uh, they're usually snap-in replacement. You can click one in and out, um, you know, becoming very popular, depending on what you're trying to do, usually in like a dewatering classification yeah. scenario or slurry or slime. Mm. Um, so depending on what the application is that's being used and what's trying to be accomplished. Okay. Um, so yeah, we move to be able to, you know, use the stratification benefits in that modular panel as well. Yeah. And coming from a mining equipment background myself, you see like, obviously there was the old like woven screen. Yeah. The... <laughs> what is the consistency for the flex mat like the wire and everything is that it, it, that must have it, does it see a lot of improvement with this design yeah so so you're right so there's a place i always say this there's a place in every industry for all the different types of media that are out there whether you're using yeah. a high vibration a modular a polyurethane a rubber and you know a traditional woven wire yeah. there is a place for those uh, what we try to do is go in and understand the person's objective, right? And we don't do that by just looking at the screen box. We're doing that by looking and doing a full, what we call a plant assessment. Okay. So we look at the full operation from front to back, right? We really want to capitalize and make sure we're giving them the right tool for the job they're trying to do. Got it. Um, so you're, to your point, the, the old school woven, you know, traditionally woven on a loom, kind of like you would a shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, there's knuckles, things don't wear as evenly. No. It does have some good open area, but there's no stratification. It doesn't self-clean. There could be pegging or blinding that could occur. So those were all, you know, disadvantages we saw with that product and why we really focused on FlexMat to say, how do we use this tool to really remove all of those disadvantages? And that's what we were able to accomplish by not weaving it traditionally, having it held together, as you can see with our polyurethane yeah. and having the wires be independent and, and being able to move, which helps obviously with one, creating more stratification. So opportunity for product to find a home and two, removing that pegging and blinding because these screens are often referred to as self-cleaning, right? Right. And actually, I want it because for anybody that's walked by here and you have your display set up, yeah. you've got the polyurethane, yep. but now you've got RFID chip on that. Where did that come from? Yeah. So uh, it's, it's funny, actually, right? You, when you look at screen media and everyone's trying to take the next step and trying to yep. develop and you go, what do I do next? What do I do next? At some point, some of these aftermarket products We'll, we'll hit a ceiling for some amount of time because there's only so much that you can do. Okay. So the mindset really becomes what other added value can you provide to your partners? Mm -hmm. And that could include a number of different things. Uh, we happen to have an idea 
some of us have some backgrounds from an electronics industry. Yes. And we know that there's certain chips out there that can do a number of different things that, you know, we have on our phones. It was a concept. Could we get it into a screen? Could we make it so that it would last and it wouldn't get hurt? Mm -hmm. And what type of information could we have it tell? Uh, and that's really where the RFID chips came from. And we now have those actively working in every single flex mat screen or flex mat modular screen that leaves one of our, our facilities. So they, they come standard now in the they product? They come standard. So it's now, part of our product quality. It cannot leave a plant. Oh, really? It goes through a quality check. It's, okay. it's part of the base model of what we, we send out. Yeah. The technology, well, you see it everywhere here, especially like like mining construction. It's starting to just it just always is expanding, like you said. Yeah. The um it, that leads me into so you're also promoting the new uh, it's the the major app you're calling it, correct? Correct. Is that now linked with the RF? I yes. Guess, yep. Yes, that's correct. So okay. we've had a major app for quite some time, and the the original app was created because we actually have a vibration sensor that we take out on site uh, when we're doing the plant assessments, okay. and we, we're we're using that on the machine to make sure that the machine itself is running to the standard that it was supposed to be running at, which is explained in like the manual that you get when you buy a screen box. Okay, like yep. the screen yep. box manufacturer tells you what 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 would be, what would be best. So we're making sure that we do that as like an added benefit when we show up because we don't want to put our product on a screen box that's not working properly. Right. So if something's broken, if there's springs that are, are need to be replaced, you could put the best screen in the world on there. It's not going to do what it was intended to do because there's another problem. So yeah. that was why we had an app was to help us with that. Got Again, it. it comes to that, what else do you add? How do you add value? And the app became more. Mm. So now in our app, we have case studies so that people can refer to to say, hey, I'm having this problem in right. coal. And they can go and look and say, oh, there's a solution oh, that was okay. done. Yep. That's very cool. Um, there's news, information in there. What's upcoming at major, new hire, like things like that to share information with our partners. Got it. And at the same time, we then, you know, with the RFID chip, that is where that connection is. So uh, very cool concept that I can explain to you that happens today is a lot of new people are being hired in our industry. Yes. The older guard is leaving Yes, and they're training the new guard coming in. Mm -hmm. So how do you help, right? We're a manufacturer. How can we physically help? So one of the cool things with the RFID chip now is that if you want to send someone out to go check on a screen size, yeah. what dimension, what type of opening, what wire diameter, where was it shipped from, what customer, with our app, you can walk out, simply open the app, Hold your phone over that RFID chip, and it's going to tell you all of that information. Oh, it just pops it right up. Pops it right okay. up and tells you everything off the chip. So, Excellent. Again, how do you make things easier for your partners? This is stage one of this RFID chip. We yep. have many, many, many future concepts okay. uh, that we're working on now. Some of them I can actually talk to you about is about um, helping our customers actually facilitate their inventory through the app. Mm. So they can actually see what they have by when the screens arrive, they can go in and check them into their app. They now know, oh, okay. they go take one from inventory to put on a screen box, they can remove it. Got so it. now they can actually actively watch and monitor their inventory and know when they need to rebuy, not right. rebuy. Yeah, I guess with some of the, the some of the screen boxes, they're, go, they're probably, you, you probably have to replace them quite soon. Uh, yeah, in, it, it really depends. Yeah, it, it really depends. Uh, in some scenarios, a screen will last a whole year. Oh, right. Okay. Like really a whole year. Some will wow. last, you know, three weeks, some will last eight weeks, 10 weeks, three months. It, it really depends on what's the environment you're in, yeah. what's the application, and what you're trying to accomplish. Okay. The one key thing you'll always hear about and, and, and learn with screen media is it's a balance between wear life and production. So how long will the screen last and how much production can I get through it? And you okay. have to find that balance that works well with your organization. Excellent, excellent. Well, everybody, uh, it was great to run through like what Major is doing. Thank you, Ian, for joining. You're very welcome. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching The Construction Show. This is another product promo here at World of Asphalt. And uh, please follow us on YouTube, follow us on LinkedIn. Ian's information will be in the description along with all the all the relevant links yep. for the products and everything. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, it's been fantastic. And uh, see you next time on The Construction Show.